Uh, my name is Julie Granka. I am a population geneticist at Ancestry DNA, which is a personal genomics company. I did my um, undergraduate degree in biometry and statistics at Cornell University, so it's sort of a combination of biology and statistics. And then after um, my undergraduate, I came to Stanford University where I did my PhD in biology. I think when I I first got interested in genetics was in, was in middle school. We were doing Punnett squares and learning how inheritance occurred and I just really found it super interesting and in sort of how it explains basically everything. So as a population geneticist at Ancestry DNA, I do a variety of stuff trying to, a variety of research trying to sort of hone in on the methods behind how we estimate ancestry and how we estimate relatedness between individuals. And I think now um, even now, just from going from genotype data to sequence data, to sort of see the vast amount of information that we're now getting from genetics. Now the, now the, I guess the, the problem is just to figure out how we can analyze all that and how that we can make sense of all of it. So, I think to really see the scale of it increase over time has been really fascinating. You know, there's a lot of places where genetics might come in, not just in humans but in other organisms. So, sort of thinking about and observing basically the way that genetics is kind of underlying everything that happens around you. So I think kind of observing and seeing what questions drive you can also be important in addition to those sort of necessary foundational skills like programming and statistics.